so good to me. Hilda. Hello, Hilda and John. How do you do, miss? How do you do? Miriam Blake. Yes. You're Douglas Marty. That's right, Miss Heath. Please call me Evelyn. Miriam. Evelyn. I knew there was someone missing. Little Lee. How are you, Lee? I didn't expect to see such a pretty little girl. You're so beautiful. You're so fine. No, no, don't touch me. I've been on that dirty train. And could I go upstairs? Oh, yes, of course. You must be very tired. It's not that. It's just that I've dreamed of all this for so long. I told myself I wouldn't act like a fool and go to pieces. That's all right, dear. Just come with me. I'm very sorry we don't have a bedroom for you on the first floor. All right, Anne. Well, isn't anybody going to say hello to me? Well, Dan, dear, how are you? We didn't expect you until eight. Oh, we took an early train. Uh, Evelyn's father, you know. Uh, you know, Dan, I saw Bernhardt make an entrance like that once. This gave me the same lump in my throat. <laughs> Hello, Hagen. <laughs> you hard bitten old cynic, you never had a lump. <laughs> Just the time for a drink anyway, Dan. How are you, Dan? Yeah, that crazy. Oh. oh, you know, any of you know. This is probably the first time in her life she's ever been in a nice house with nice people. Well, if it isn't a girl who was hanging from a cliff, page 64, last month's cosmopolitan. Hello, Dad. Hey, how'd you come out? Were you rescued? This month on page 54. <laughs> I put fresh papers in the drawer. Mr. Hackett just moved out. Oh? Did he have this room? Do he? Oh, dear. Would you mind terribly if I asked Hilda to fumigate in here? Well, well if you like it. Oh, I hardly think you'd catch anything from Ernest, except maybe a grumpy disposition. I know it seems silly. But when you're sick, you know, you get so you watch everything. 
I'll speak to Hilda, dear. Don't bother about it now. Oh, Anne. A phonograph. I used to have one, you know. That electric, though. Can I play it? Of course. It's yours now. For the whole summer? For as long as you like. Look, Anne. Liebestraum. Dream of love. It was always my favorite. Till Papa broke it. You mean he broke it purposely? He wasn't always himself. He was right. Night and day. You know, when you lie alone and wait and hope somebody will come and see you, you have music. It's not so bad. That's why Mr. Hackett wanted you to have it. That's very sweet. Is there anything else you'd want now? No, thank you, Anne. We plan to eat early, so you won't be too long, will you? No, I won't, Dad. Yeah. You know, I'd feel much better, darling, if you'd lock that door. Throw some and sink walks and faces. Who cares? I'm no cloud hopper, you know. Oh. I wish someone would see it. Get this. Oh. I get possible. There's only one thing wrong. And take your slippers off. Oh, no. Take them off. I got mine off. It's wonderful. I've always wanted to dance with my bare feet. Go on, try it. Put him outside somewhere. <laughs> Come on, Lee, darling. We'll put him out in the hot house. I'll go with her, Anne. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, no. There, there. It's only a tiny bird. It couldn't hurt anybody. Please don't talk to me about birds. Even a word makes me crawl with loathing. It's a cold terror. Horrible, horrifying feeling. It's awful, isn't it? Can't help it. Of course you can. Don't even try to. We'll keep Skipper out of your way. Ever since I was a little girl, I can't explain it. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. You still haven't told me why she yelled. Because dear birds frighten her. It's what they call a phobia. What's that? 
Can you catch it like chicken pox? <laughs> no, darling. A phobia is an exaggerated fear. You're afraid of snakes, aren't you? I never saw one. But I'm not afraid of birds. Well, some people are. Others are afraid of cats and bats. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sometimes scared of the dark. That's right. There's no real reason to be afraid of the dark, but you are. Now, that's the best way I can explain it. Poor Skipper. He was scared, too, when she yelled. Good night. Don't. I'm just opening the window to get a little air in here. I don't want you to. Don't you see them? Those leaves there. In the moonlight, they look like birds trying to get in. I was lying here thinking about it. That's what scared me to get in. Look, that's first class moonlight. Don't you think bad things about it? There now, isn't that nice? See? wandering around in the middle of the night for you, young lady. Mom. I'll see that she gets to bed. Do you have a phobia too, Daddy? Yes. What's Daddy's a phobia? Tell her. You. <laughs> you scared of me? Now and then, yes. But don't let it worry you. Good night. Daddy? No, not until you get some more to pack there. <laughs> Thank you. 